welcome back to science! Let's fingerprint. This one looks fairly good. Let's spread powder. Spread. So I think I finally figured out how this emulator works. You see, in my first playthrough of the game, I didn't have a mic plugged in. A microphone plugged in. So, the fingerprinting dust blew away on its own. But this time, since I'm recording commentary, the fingerprinting dust, well, the mic actually works with the emulator's DS mic functions. And now we...
and Marshalls. Huh. AC. These are decisively different. The fingerprint was in the same place as the blood as the white blood stain. Why would he? We'll find out. And finally, this is like part 20. Getting close to 20. Now it's time to go back to trial. Like I said this was the longest case in the game, and it is so far not disappointed. is as confused as we are. Hi, Lena. Good morning. Indisposed? Oh. Oh, no problems. You struck a plea bargain? the truth behind this simultaneous murder, they wouldn't seek capital punishment. Oh. Hmm. Traces left by, yeah, Marshall's fingerprints. Traces. Bloodstained fingerprints. I will. So I'm Phoenix, right? Yeah. It's time to shake that. Time to shake things up. Clarify, it's worth. It takes 30 minutes by car, yeah we know, to reach criminal affairs from the prosecutor's office. Blah. That's not physically possible. You think the evidence room just disappeared, and the body reappeared in the trunk of Edgeworth's car. One of my duties as a prosecutor is to present impartial evidence. So today, we're going to examine the murder at the police department. What exactly transpired? Meekins! Oh no! You've got to be kidding me. I'm gonna strangle you. <laughs> oh, God. 
When we come back, we'll hear this bumbling idiot's testimony. It's even more of a bumbling idiot than Gumshoe.